In the business world, the rear view mirror is always clearer than the windshield. Warren Buffet. All right, guys. Time for portfolio update. It's easy to give stock tips, right? You see plenty of YouTubers are making video on the stock tips and the stock that are in discount. However, in this channel, we try to do things little differently. In this channel, we show you our own portfolio, real money, real stock. No daily or weekly tips. It is portfolio update monthly. If you are new in our channel and want to see the live wealth creation, consider subscribing our channel to encourage our effort. Without having any further delay, let us start. What you see in the screen and throughout the video, everything is made available to you online through the Google Sheet. You can access it free of cost by clicking the link in the description. Now what you see is the summary sheet. Here you will get the overview of the portfolio. For example, we have invested 6.43 lakhs in this portfolio with a gain of 51,000 rupees and the current valuation of this portfolio is 6.95 lakhs combining the dividend. On absolute basis, the portfolio has increased by 8% when we are recording this video. When we compare with the benchmark which is Nifty 50, our portfolio has delivered 4.1% CAGR return while Nifty 50 has delivered 6.5% CAGR. This difference is alpha. It is now negative 2.4. Next, beta. Beta measures the volatility of the portfolio. Beta less than 1 indicates that the portfolio is less volatile than the benchmark. For this portfolio, beta is 0.83. As of now, we have seen the beta of this portfolio consistently below 1, which indicates that our portfolio has been way less volatile than the overall index. And if you see the change in alpha over the months, you will see that from positive it has turned to negative as high as minus 10 and now it has dropped to minus 2.4. By the way, we have created a separate video on how you can calculate alpha of your own portfolio. You may check the video if you are interested. Every month, the first trading day, we buy stocks. In total, we have 11 stocks in our portfolio. Here you see the details. For example, the highest allocation is now on Pedilite. We have a total of 32 units of share with an average price of 1953. Then comes Asian Paint. We have a total of 25 units of Asian Paint at an average price of 2547 rupees. Likewise, you will get the details of all the companies. You can take a pause and read the details of all 11 stocks. Now, if you're interested to know which month, which stock we have purchased, how many units, here is the details. Last month, that means August 2022, we bought four stocks. The first one is Pedilite, four units at an average price of 2491 rupees. Then, HDFC Bank, 4 units at a price of 1446. Now, if you observe carefully in this page, you'll see that we are gradually picking up the units of HDFC Bank. Anyway, the next stock that we have purchased in the last month is Kotak Mahindra Bank. Again, 4 unit at an average price of 1859 rupees. And the last stock that you have purchased in the last month is DB Slab. For this one also, you have seen that we are slowly picking up more and more units. This month, only one unit we have purchased at an average price of 3795 rupees. If you are interested to know the details of each and every month, you can follow the online portfolio tracker and check it in details. We keep it absolutely transparent so that you can see how the portfolio works. No gimmicks. Now, let us move to the portfolio allocation. As you see here, we have maximum allocation in PD Light 13%, followed by Asian Paint where we have allocation 12%, and then PI Industries where we have allocation 11%. Do you see something here? The top three stock sums up to 35% of the portfolio. But still, the beta of this portfolio is below one. Yes, the diversification does not reduce the volatility. Anyway, going ahead, we have Kotak Mahindra Bank 10% and then DB Slab 9%. These are top five stocks. And then we have HDFC Bank 9% and then Navin Fluorin 9%, Abbott India 7%. The last three position of the portfolio is Dr. Lalpath, 6% of the portfolio, then Relaxo, 6% and the Nestle India, which is also 6%. Here, you see the portfolio change over time. As you see, in last one year, our portfolio has lost 1.2% when the benchmark has gone up by 2.6%. And since inception, the benchmark has risen almost by 10.3% when our portfolio has increased by 7.8%. 
So you can see that the portfolio is slightly underperforming the benchmark, but we are not very concerned about it because we are still building the portfolio and it just takes few weeks to change the entire statistics. We invest in every month. Here you can see how much money we have invested in each month. For example, in August 2022, we have invested 2300, 180 rupees and in September, which is this month, we have already made the investment and the amount is 24,567 rupees. Which stock we have bought in September, you will come to know in the next portfolio update. So stay tuned for the update. By the way, we also keep a track of the dividend as well. As you can see here, in the month of August, we have received a good amount of dividend because Abbott India has issued the dividend. Abbott India gives a very hefty dividend. Just not only that, we have also got dividend from DV Slab in the month of August. Relaxo and PI Industries has also given dividend in this month. These dividends are plowed back to the investment lump sum after a certain interval. In the playlist sheet, you'll be able to see the video that we have created for each month with the link available. This is the episode after episode, the long term wealth creation with minimum volatility. And you get to see this episode live. Hope it helps to manage your own portfolio. That's all for today. Catch you up soon with the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.